No thanks. I'm about to be acquitted. Escaping looks bad. All right. All right, Stan. Whatever, bud. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hi. Hello again. Can I get another key made? Sure. Just write down the serial number and give it to me. He goes zoom. zoom. Go zoomies. state-of-the-art pen. When did we get this? Have so I been there the whole time? I don't know. Alright. Dear Carla, Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I value that you are dedicated to dedication. Tell people how nice you are. Please accept my humblest apology. Even though it wasn't really my fault. <laughs> I promise to do better in the future. Okay. I didn't even know he had that. Zoom. Zoomy. Oh. Oh. Also, it was like when words aren't enough, but then I need words on the frog. This is for you. It's... Frog. Dear Carla, <laughs> this is a nice sentiment, but the only personal thing you got right in here is my name. I reject your frog. What? The fuck do you mean? Dear Carla. Sorry for losing, Sorry the, book for I losing borrowed. the book I borrowed. I admire that you are hard on softness. And I know you're really nicer than people say you are. Please accept my humblest apology. You scare the heck out of me. <laughs> Let's try that. Oops. Oh. Pew, 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 pew. Can we try the frog again? Dear Carla, this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing you can do better. I reject your frog. Eh. Mm. Fucking. What does she want from me? Search Low Street for information about Carla. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Would the fisherman know something? Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, this was my favorite novelty store. 
Never even went in. Okay. What's new, guys? Not much, but be sure to come see us at the shop tomorrow. Yeah. Uh. your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. I'm stretch my legs for a bit. answers yep. ever make sense? There are no, no. answers. <laughs> Only questions that are You're finished. finished. <gasps> Let's see. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark Ur? What's that supposed to mean? The Chuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Whoa, back up. Dark magic, you said? I did. How does dark, How does magic, dark work? magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be, but dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that metaphor a lot, don't you? It has many uses. Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. <laughs> Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. Do you know more about this John Laney guy with the eye patch? Captain John Laney was renowned as the pirate of a thousand faces. It was said that he could fool his best friend with nothing more than an eye patch. That legend is true, but only because the eye patch he used was filled with much voodoo magic. The eye patch still exists. It is on display at the Museum of Pirate Law here on Melee Island. If an enterprising person such as yourself were to liberate it and bring it here, I could most likely get it working again. Got it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty, but you keep trying to drink out of it. Over oh, and over. I feel that it one. Oh, Karina. Oh, Karina. Okay, Karina. Nice. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. I'll get back to browsing the shop. Act fast. Supplies are limited. What's cooking? The feast of knowledge. Mm. The curtains are for sale too? Everything goes. They'd make a great dress. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, aren't you glad you're here? It's... Maybe Lolly knows something? I think Scott may have hey, already Wally. talked to Lolly, but. Bye! Yeah. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. Let's 
Like, it doesn't look finished. It doesn't look finished. Hmm. They're having a half off sale. Explore the alley again. It seems to be stuck closed. Oh. Uh. I don't see anything useful here. Ah, uh, bummer. It's hopeless. To do the list. Let's open the hint book again. Let's see. I have returned with the most piratey snack ever. What? Pocky. Oh, Pocky! What's new, guys? Not much, but be sure to come see us yeah, at the yeah. shop tomorrow. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Do we have to take the flyer? Maybe. Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling okay, down the flyers. Okay, there we go. All right. I was right. It is the wrong choice to make. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue oh, of Elaine. Oh, there's plaque. The best ever governor of Melee. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Santo Domingo. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Santo Domingo. Hmm. Maybe with that information. Maybe. Dear Car Carla. Dear Carla. Sorry for losing the book Sorry I borrowed. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I think hard on softness was still the right one. I admire that you are hard on softness. It was at Santa, uh, Santo Domingo, right? Yeah. As shown by your actions at Santo Domingo, please accept my humblest apology. You scare the heck out of me. You scare the heck out of me. All right. Um, I think that might have been wrong. Let's see if we can do the frog again. Okay, Carla. Dear Carla. Book. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I know you're hard on softness. Mm. <clears throat> I don't know. I admire that you are hard on softness. <coughs> I don't I don't know. Because like at Santa Domingo. Please accept my humblest might apology. Scare the heck out of me. I promise to do better in the future. Okay. Well, we kind of have. Let's try that. Yeah, we kind of have an idea now, so. Where are you going? Oh, wrong way. We're going to the governor, the governor, the governor. Whee! This is a really nice feature. Pocky is dangerous. It is. Hi, will you take my, my apology frog? This is for you. Dear Carla, <laughs> I'm impressed, Guybrush. Surprisingly thoughtful, considering it's you. It only I'm took me three tries. I'm moved to forgive you for losing my book, and <gasps> I'll treasure this frog as a memento of the time you did something right. Listen here, you mutinous bitch. <laughs> Ingredients. Ingredients. Can I borrow this cookbook? You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. What one? Thanks. Sure. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Yeah. He's not going to return it. Oh, no. 
Well, it'll probably get taken by the cook and then fucked up or something. He won't return it, but it won't it's be because of him. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Oh, no. Mm, I love Pocky. It's so good. Such a simple but good snack. Well, it also, it's just satisfying because, like, it just kind of, like... It's got, like, the pretzel thing to it, where you can just, like, munch it and it just satisfyingly just goes away because it's just so crunch. You know? Mm-hmm. You can just kind of hamster it like this. I found this at the governor's mansion. Aha! Uh -huh. The mystery dish must be in there! Oh, no. I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Are you distracted now? Yes. I've gone with the broom. This will be excellent. Now go. Yeah. To Wally. Ah! Oh no! Uh oh. Keep your hands off my mop. <sighs> okay then. Jesus. <laughs> Jump scare. Okay, I've just gone with the mop. Then what? I have an idea. Now do it. On the mop. Oh, okay. Put it back, put it back, put it back. He'll never complain again. No, put it, no, put it back in the bucket. Ingredients indeed. Okay. All right. Jesus Christ, was not expecting a jump scare. Me neither. Spooky. <laughs> ah. To Wally. Wally, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Basically, this is just kind of a pretzel, huh? Sure. Oh, jeez. Thanks, <laughs> Wally. It's okay. None of them got out. Nice. One another? Sure. Hey, cat. Yeah? That one got out. Oh, well. <laughs> I got you, bitch. Okay. Cool. So it's... Forward... Right, uh, unless this is right, forward, right. Then right, right, forward, left, forward, left, forward, right. Right. Okay. Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Not one of them. Fair mm -hmm. enough. Fair enough, Wallster. matter okay so flower pathway and then flower pathway yeah I, th I think we're I think we're doing it based on landmark okay. and then it's did we exit on mushroom uh, yes. Okay, so this. Yes. Okay. And then we go mushy, then carnivorous plant. Okay. Well then. And then after that, 
uh, flower, flower, carnivorous plant. Carnivorous plant. All right. Then, uh, flower. Like that's hedgehog. how you dumb like your mama. Little prickly kids. Listen here, you fuck. You can't even fucking identify Sonic T. Hedgehog. No, I can't, apparently. It's like there's a welcoming committee. Hey, little fella. Wow. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Melee Island mop handle tree. <laughs> okay, then. That sucker. What? What? But there's only the one. What do you mean? There's only the one. Maybe there's one later on. I don't give a shit. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Melee Island mop handle tree. It's not for throwing. It's not for th okay. Oh jeez. What have you done? Guy brush. Oh my god. What have you done? startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. This one's on fire! <laughs> what have you done? Guybrush! Ah, oh, this is what happens when you use the ceremonial knife! Sure cut back. Oh my god. We're Guybrush. monsters! What have you done? <laughs> you deforesting bastard! <laughs> Ah, piece of shit. I made him up. Uh, <sighs> it's a single perfect instrument that I will keep. Was and zero one of the options on the trivia? I think so. I wonder if that's why. <laughs> the book knew it was not long for this world. Like, God, what have we done? Like, I don't understand. Like, couldn't you just, like, chop off? No, you had to do the whole damn thing. Now we know why there were all those fucking, like, warnings and release of liability. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, those poor things. They were literally, they, they were the sobbing. They were sobbing. <laughs> Oh. oh, Scott feels bad. Uh, I always feel more empathetic for animals than I do for humans. Because, you know, we suck. Yeah. <laughs> we suck. We are actively bad. You're actively monsters. Busy? Yep. Taking your mop. What are you doing? I want the jump scare again. <laughs> Keep your hands off my mop. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice he was like crazy. Yeah. Like, uh, like... It's okay. Well, what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to him and see if he could tell that something had been hacked off of it. All right. Now what? <laughs> okay, the last, we need to get that eye patch. We do. Uh, check, in the, let's see, let's check our to-do list. Yeah, let's see. 
I'm gonna head back to the museum. We need the serial number. We need the serial number Perfect. in our in our magnifying like our it's um sort of like an eye. not I good think enough. it's a chandelier. Yeah, just I just wanna go back and just double check. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. Nice. I patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Pirate Times, editor Conrad Lee, ready to publish your unrecognized genius. Display case is locked. There's some very tiny writing on it. We're gonna need a magnifying glass for our magnifying glass. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. Was the parrot wearing glasses? Uh. That is a really no. big parrot. Looks like. I wonder it is. how many hands it's eaten. That's a nice coffin. The one with the ore. Yeah, the coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. But I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. You're a bad historian. Research assistant. Oh, I did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. Uh. Uh. Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind, autographed by Francis Drake himself. And there was nothing else in the storeroom, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. So we watched Wakanda forever it's last a night. Parrot. I shouldn't bother it. And that's a real good movie. And I'm not going to do anything that's a spoilery it's my spoiler, very own but there's one non-magical um, ceremonial knife. I've got a few coins for incidentals. But there's a uh, there's one scene. What is what is his name? The the leader of the Jabari. The leader of the Jabari? Yeah. Um Is it Umbatu? I think so. I, I don't remember. In the comics, he has an actual, like, superhero slash supervillain name, and it's Manape. <laughs> so that's what I always think of, but they never call him that in the movies. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. Aha. If one monocle is good, two is better. All right. I, I, I was just, I was just shit talking when I said. Yeah, fair enough. But apparently, it, it might be the solution. But wait, anyway, they um, they let him do like a lot of cool stuff in this movie. He, he gets some action scenes and like, um, actually has a lot of like insightful dialogue. But there's this weird scene, and it's like I think the first major one he's in, where it's like you know, again, I'm not gonna say anything spoilery. But it's that it's that um council area, right? You're not pointing at the lock. Well, I tried to. No, you didn't. This was a you good off, idea. You were off they the mark. They magnify stuff even better since I stuck them together. Off the mark. <laughs> okay. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. There you go. All right, then back we go. Um, but anyway, it's it's just that little area in well, not little, but it's like the it's like the council room or whatever in Wakanda, and. Again, not gonna say any spoilers. Not gonna say what's going on in that scene, where the scene is in the movie, what's happening. But when he enters, he's just like, every now and then, just chomping on a carrot. 
<laughs> and it just came across as like a weirdly like cool power move. Serial number? Sure. He just walks in, just munching. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. Oh, actually, you know what? You might be able to give the cracker mix to the locksmith. That way, you can take a cracker. Welcome back. Oh yeah. Because she said it was her last one, so. I found some cracker mix. You could bake fresh crackers in your furnace. Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Take some if you want. Yeah. yeah. Doink. Good. Good thinking. Um. But yeah, like the whole time that he's like talking and doing his stuff, just every once in a while, it just goes, and it just, it was just a very interesting like power move to be like, yeah, things are happening. I'm eating a carrot. <laughs> now we're going to offer you some so you don't snitch. The other one. Take. Run. Yes. What do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Yes. Of course not, Carla. We'll need to Who's generate key master, support. Motherfucker? I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. Who's this queen? There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. But it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? Okay. Now we go to the voodoo lady. But yeah, especially because every time he every time he bites off a bit of carrot, it gets that really nice, like, almost clicky crunch sound. Just, <laughs> just can you fix this? Made me want a carrot. Mm. <laughs> I don't even ah, like raw carrot. The famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. <laughs> As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. Good. Great. So, can you charge it up again? I can. If. If. If you bring me one more thing. God damn it. A particular charm of great power. You couldn't have told me this earlier? The I crown couldn't. of the queen. You must bring me the bite of a thousand needles. What? Then I will recharge your eye patch. The bite of a thousand needles. Can you be a tiny bit more specific? No. All right. <laughs> what I can do. By the way, want to hear something fun about uh, Cat? Everyone, she is really bad about putting condiments back into the fridge. Hey, I don't see you putting your condiments back in the fridge either. Incorrect. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it happens. Because if you'll notice, you fuck off and go to bed, and yet they're not there by the next day. But anyway, the hot sauce we were using earlier <laughs> that sure. you got out. I'm sorry. It's yeah. soft and extra fuzzy. That's probably it. No. Doggo bite, not count? Okay. Bite the bite of a thousand needles. Sponge? Dried sponge? Sandpaper? No. Can we ask her any follow up questions? Can you tell me where to find the bite of a thousand needles? I wish I could. Me too. <laughs> Maybe if we go back to the mansion? Maybe. Of work being governor. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. Oh. 
I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. Uh -huh. Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Melee Island. His overly strict morals and overly lax regulatory policies helped make the island what it is today. <laughs> By stupid Captain Madison. <laughs> Maybe the John Laney book? Note to the reader. No disguised secrets are revealed in this book. Damn. Can I borrow this book? One book at a time. I only trust you so far. Oh, yeah. We, the, yep. Yeah, the cook has the book. For now and forever, I must Edgy. assume. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. Thank you. Hmm. And that's the last of it. <laughs> and yes, this was a whole box of hockey. I'm a badass. <laughs> I'm a bad ass and very bad at most things. But I'm a good friend. This is <laughs> awesome. Now I can open one of the jail cells. <laughs> the bodies of a thousand needles. Oops. Well, it's been a little bit since we saved. Classic specimen of Alata Needleus. Knife time. A carnivorous vascular dicot known for its tasteful coloration. Gotcha, you pointy little tracheophyte. Oh, we can either be here all day trying to figure out what to do, or we can get a move on, guys. We gotta stream. A look at a move. go bite of a thousand needles tell me is this an ancient powerful charm or simply a plant you found in the forest it doesn't matter you were pretty opaque about what you wanted even for you i took my best shot very well <laughs> you've always been the close enough sort same <laughs> except for in my art then i usually do as good as i can do Spirits of deception and death, drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? <laughs> it's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity <laughs> on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. <laughs> That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Oh. Yeah. What the heck? I look like a zombie. Is it broken? One does the best one can with the materials provided. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Ugh. You're welcome. I think I'm ready to set sail. All right, let's go. To the dock, to the dock, to the dock, dock, dock. Hello. 
Hi there. You must be the quartermaster. Yep. You look like a guy without many options. I need a swabby. It's B-Y-O-M. So, show me a decent mop and the job's yours. Okay. How's this for a mop? Let's see. Stick, tangle a boat line. <laughs> Smells like seagull droppings. Eh, good enough. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Oh, boy. <laughs> Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. Fucking knew it! I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. <clears throat> yeah? Fucking knew How? it. I've got a spy on board the ship. Fucking knew it. There we go. Wait, who are those guys? <laughs> Elaine? Probably. So once you were on LeChuck's ship, you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said, I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island, where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more or less. The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. It's the ghost to chicken. You, I'm Aww. a poor swab, and I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital one. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it. You work here. You sleep here. You take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before. This hold is your world. The hull is your ground. The deck is your sky. And I am your deity of choice. A cruel and vengeful deity. I only have one simple rule. You are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Can I leave the hold? <laughs> Can I leave the hold? But no! <laughs> what happens if I leave? What happens if I leave? I said you're not to leave under any circumstances. Well, I, I know, just hypothetically. What if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is? I throw you back down here. Nothing's worse than this. <laughs> Where's my bunk? Where's my bunk? You might be alright inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. But it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. Oh no. Oh. Uh, What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Well, perhaps we could arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> but seriously, learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. Uh, uh, what if I need to, um, you know? Use the porno. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I hate an unsightly ledge. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruit. You're all thicker than the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this old sparkling as if it was clean. Now. Get to work. <sighs> yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. They can say that now because Lucasfilm is owned by Disney. Yeah. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. Oh, I hate those. All right. <sighs> Get inspired. Follow LeChuck's lead. Betray trust. Throw tantrums, commit fraud, overstay your welcome, bear false witness, destroy the beloved, destroy the beautiful, threaten bodily harm, commit bodily harm, murder those who get in your way. Condensed from the book, The LeChuck Way. <laughs> get to work, don't get fired. LeChuck's ship is enchanted to be unboardable by anyone but her crew. I think game number one would say different. Yeah. That includes you, so don't worry about it. Unless you get fired, then worry. <laughs> I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. 
No way am I picking that up with my hands. Looks like your business partner. Aww. Rude. More chickens? <laughs> Murray! Murray! <laughs> Murray? Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage with it, zombie man. Have we met before? I'm in disguise. Huh? I'm in disguise. In that case, I would think you'd comprehend the value of staying hidden. A curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. How dare you. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. <laughs> Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, Withered Zombie Man. No problem. Take Murray. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, let's go. I owe her a favor. It's none of your business. Why do you owe Captain Madison a favor? Well, ironically, I was sealed up in a crate, and she freed me. Oh, you mean like I just did? It's not the same thing. Yes, it is. What exactly is Madison up to? I would be a poor spy indeed if I told you that. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Mm -hmm. Knock it off. Those chicken feet. I wonder what it's made out of. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? Mm. Oh, that one's got an egg. Yeah. I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. Taste the ghost speed. Taste. I don't think so. Oh. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? <laughs> Grab some more feet. Go bah. Go Bach. I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. Well, I can't see much through this thing. Put put it on the skull. Feed Murray. <laughs> Tell my blessings. At least they don't smell like live chickens. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. I'm climbing. Going somewhere, Swabby? You haven't cleaned up that mess. Get back to Mommy. I'm feeling just the slightest twinge of regret about the choices I've made up to this point. Swab. Swab. <laughs> Swab Murray. Close enough. Hey! Do it again. <laughs> I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. Knock it off. Do it again. Not funny. Do it again. I'm warning you. Again! Not funny. Okay. You missed a spot. Come on. Interesting. What can we do with that information? Oh, Murray. So I'm Murray. Get him, get him gross. Yeah. <laughs> you missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? enough Oi, you missed a spot seriously get some new dialogue no just keep keep doing it to everything just be the worst you missed a spot oh, nuts. Nuts. Missed a spot. Oh, nuts. And, and then the porthole. 
I don't want to spoil my view. Ah, uh, other chicken. The other. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. Do this it one. again. See. I'll let that one okay. alone. She's got an egg. Uh. Swap the floor. Yeah. And then keep. Yeah, just grease and then keep doing it. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Everywhere on the floor. <laughs> Nasty. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. I think I got all the spots. Okay. Then take a break and uh, see if you can open the porthole, maybe? I can't see much through this thing. Is there anything that we can, like, use in our inventory? More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? Oh, I'm gonna take more chicken feet. Um, can you put the chicken feet on the porthole and make them peck it? No? Okay. We might need a hint. picking that up with my hands. Uh, do another hint. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Oh. So, yep, knife. I was thinking that might be the case. The screws. Boy, these are really wedged in there. Okay, keep trying. really wedged in Here, there. Here, let me try. Oh yeah, maybe grease the screws. Wait, you missed the spot. Oh, nuts. I'll just put a little dab on there. No, I don't want to spoil a, there's my... There's another screw. And now I'm trying to reach it. That's right. What? No, it's... There you go. I don't think there's one there. I think there's only three. Oh, okay. here. Okay, that's... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oops. And another. And another. Really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Well, that's what the grease is for. Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Uh. The grease helps. A little. This is now a slightly greasy porthole. Okay, uh, maybe we need to keep swabbing it. Get it even worse. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. No, okay. let's remove the layer. Okay. And then... Missed a spot. Oh, nuts. <laughs> oh my god. And then, and then, wait, I think you can squeeze through while you still have the mop, but alright. Uh, it's working. Oof. <sighs> I 
can't see anything. This one doesn't open. Uh, there's an open one past the ladder. Or no, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it looks like it'd be more useful for fishing. It's not it's open. open, it's just... Yeah. Like... But still, that is a very small anchor. For the size of the ship. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> This is a bunch of empty blah, containers blah, of monkey blah. blood and squid ink. Blah, 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 oh no. Blah, blah. And so, having slaughtered them to a man, I claimed my prize. Feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. Yeah. The map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Ah. Now, before Time to we touch it or disturb it in map, any way. <laughs> obviously, we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? Mm, it doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. <laughs> What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember that. Also, cinnamon, mint, and brimstone. And some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. <laughs> oh. What? Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Oh, no, Murray. Excellent. Oh. You there, in the back. New guy. Me? Hmm. You look familiar somehow. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We met an hour ago. We met about an hour ago. While well, Iron Rose was introducing me around. I'm the new Swabby. Doesn't ring a bell. Well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Why does it have to be a flat skull? Because the recipe says so. Can I have a race? <laughs> Can I have a race? Sure. Straight into the rigging, where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. So that's what's happening to that guy? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, you get used to it. It is Bob! Oh, what happened to him? No! Is this because he helped me get to you in Secret of Monkey Island? Oh. Where should I look for a skull? That's your problem! Also, luckily his skull's not falling off right now that, that he's upside down. Yeah. Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Flat. Be quick about it then. Meeting adjourned. Adjourno. We'll finish the potion and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. How's the potion coming? You heard the captain. It's nearly finished. Talk to Bob. Find a flattened skull like he told you to. You can't do that. Find a regular skull and flatten oh, it. Oh, Murray. <laughs> Murray. Borrow Apple Bob skull. Nice looking skull you've got there, Apple Bob. Now, before you get any ideas, I'm a ghost. My skull won't work. And Putra already asked. Why don't you stick your own head in the pot and see what happens? Relax. I was just making conversation. By the way, you I know who, what else. his voice reminds me of, Apple Bob? Yeah. Sorry Raphael from the oh, original Turtles. Okay. I know you're under pressure. I wonder if it's the same voice actor. Probably worth the Google. The crow's nest mm -hmm. doing lookout stuff. Mm, the best show is down here. I want to see if you screw up this thing with this skull. Can I check the crow's nest for a skull? There's nothing you need up there. What's it like working for LeChuck? I can't complain. Really? It's in the employee handbook. No complaining. Eh. You live longer if you remember that, new guy. Do we have a union? You sure don't, Swabby. Any ideas for where to find a skull? I'm really more of a watcher than a helper. Gotta go. I've got a job to do. My condolences.
Do not pet the ship's cat. The very first item in the ship's safety procedures is never to try to pet Scruffles. But I want to pet Scruffles. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Looks like it's empty. These open plan offices are all the rage now. Oh, I barely yep. touched it. <laughs> it is Raphael. It's Rob here. Paulson. Oh. It it's the OG part. Raphael. I barely even here. And also, uh, I believe Donatello in the um, in the like 2000s Nickelodeon. It do much to cut the chill in here, but I think what I can get. Nice. A slideshow of creepy zombie guys. Yeah, he's he's been he's been two of the turtles. Wait a minute. Hmm. It looks exactly like Elaine's wedding veil. I know art is supposed to grab you, but this is taking it too far. Oh, he just wants a hug. All right, time to go get Murray. Sorry, Murray. You're gonna die. Ha! You're out and about. Yeah. All right, grab Murray. Hey, Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. Take Murray against his will. Hey. <laughs> that is one revoltingly greasy portal. Also, this the place had gotten more dirty since you left. Yeah. Uh. Talk to Murray. How's going in there, Murray? You will pay for this indignity, you worthless skull napper. I have a skull. Should I put it in the pot? Only if it's a flat one. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna flatten it. Fire in the hole! Looks like it's empty. Oh. Get its eyes all solid, glowy, and no well, pupil. Well, not a good time to attract <laughs> attention. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. <laughs> ding, ding. <sighs> These open plan offices are all the rage now. Yeah, I'm gonna head back in there real quick. Mm. I wonder what's for dinner. Oh. Oh. Ah, ha. You're out and about. We gotta get in there. How can we get in there? Ghost chicken splat? Ew. At least they don't smell like live chickens. Oh, we got the screws. Should we, uh, should we save this for... For a next time? For a next time? I think so, yeah. Now would be a good time. Uh, the settings button's up on the top right corner. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, cool. So I think that's it for us this time. Yeah, this is fun. Ugh. I like what I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the art art style for this at first, but it's growing on me. It's very storybook. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, we gotta go make dinner and then do do things. groceries and probably other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably be playing a little bit of Splatoon later. Oh, uh, since since we streamed it on Tuesday, I've now beaten Sonic Frontiers. 
That game's good, what the fuck? <laughs> That's not how Sonic games work. You're supposed to be sad. Yeah, this, what, where was the pain? The, I had very minor gripes. <laughs> Mostly about the, the, there's a pinball area. <laughs> and the physics are real bad. <laughs> but I also love real life pinball, so I'm very noticeable about that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, why is that game good? <laughs> Sega doesn't let Sonic games be good anymore. If they ever did, <laughs> it's arguable. <laughs> but yeah. Fun fact, uh, of the classic Sonic games, I think only three and Knuckles is good. <laughs> One and two are very mid at best. But what about Sonic CD? That one's just actively bad. <laughs> Except for the soundtrack. The soundtrack's great. The soundtrack's bangers. But like... That game sucks with its labyrinthian design and bullshit, like, oh, you just how you get the real end? No, bad. I managed it once. There's a, there's a, there's a secret boss in Sonic Frontiers. Oh. Yeah, you have to play on hard to get him. Mm -hmm. and, and by play on hard, I mean switch to hard difficulty the second you're about to go fight the final boss. <laughs> But yeah, so we will pick this up again sometime. Probably next week we will be back to Okami, and then maybe we'll just alternate. We yeah. do that sometimes. But yeah, I think that's it for us. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time.